Hello guys, welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to start populating the files we created in the previous lesson. So let's start with the OS kernel files. Let's start, of course, with the interface file, the OS kernel.h. Shall write the interface, of course, of the APIs we're going to use to initiate and launch the kernel. So of course, I'm going to stop multiple definition by using the if not defined defined statement here by if and def underscore os underscore kernel underscore h and then define underscore os underscore kernel underscore h and I'll end if like this so we need at least three um, functions here we need a way to launch the kernel we need a way to add threads to the kernel and then we need a way to initialize the kernel so I'm going to create some function headers here the first one is void OS kernel launch and because it's a round robin scheduler what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this function take the argument of the quanta size we want each thread to run for and the uh, the data type is going to be u in 32 and I'm going to call this argument quanta and then let's create the, the function for kernel init os kernel init and there's a void void function and we're going to create a third function this function is going to help us add threads to the kernel and this function is going to return a number to indicate that it successfully added um, the thread to the kernel. So in order to add something, then we have to let it take the argument of what it needs to add. So this function is going to return a uint8, and then it's going to be called os kernel add threads. In this very lesson, in this particular type of our scheduler, we're going to add a constant number of threads so here we're going to put three arguments here indicating this function can accept just three threads and um, as time goes on we could create a dynamic scheduler that can add and remove threads on its own so um, it takes three arguments the first argument is the first thread so I could say void I could call them task as well task zero and there's a void void function and the second argument is of course task one remember remember i said earlier i'll be interchangeably using the word task and thread just think of them as the same thing um, the reason why i would of course use task here is i want you to um, understand when you're reading other documentation they may be using task here i could as well just say thread here and there'll be no problem at all remember a thread is the execution of a task and this one here is number two right and then of course we put a comma over here and we'll put a semicolon here so this is what the OS kernel.h looks like so these are the the global functions that the kernel provides these are the functions that other modules can access and control the kernel when we go to the OS kernel.s and then .c we're going to have more functions and these functions are going to be only accessible by the kernel files the main.c won't be able to access the other ones that will write these are the only three functions that the main.c will be able to access the main function will be able to initialize the kernel add threads to the kernel and launch and launch the kernel so in the next lesson we shall take a look at the os kernel.c file i'll see you in the next lesson